Hi, this is Matt Demetrian of Telemus Capital with the week in review for the week ending January 31st of 2020. The stock market fell for the second straight week as the coronavirus outbreak dampened investor sentiment and raised concerns around the prospect for economic growth. The S&P 500 declined by 2.1%, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 2.5%, and the Russell 2000 Index was down nearly 3%. The NASDAQ Composite Index was still down but held up better than the rest, falling 1.8% on the week. For the month of January, the NASDAQ Composite was the only index to finish higher than it began. As you can see from the chart in the lower right-hand corner, many of the indexes were up nicely positive throughout most of the month, the S&P 500 eclipsing 3% before falling and finishing roughly flat. Emerging markets were the most hard hit as they fell nearly 5.6% in the past week alone. The sectors falling the most last week were energy, materials, and healthcare. Consumer and discretionary and utilities closed out the week at higher levels. Consumer discretionary in particular benefited from the 7% gain in Amazon on Friday after its fourth quarter earnings results were better than expectations. As the week wore on, the seriousness of the coronavirus became harder for investors to ignore. Reports of a rising death toll in China and confirmed cases in the U.S. and in other countries around the world raised concerns and drove the investors into less risky assets. The prospect that a reduction in global economic activity would result in lower earnings expectations was viewed cautiously on top of what some investors view as above-average market valuations. This led to some of the profit-taking and investors looking to look elsewhere for investments. Fourth quarter earnings results, which continue to come in, have been in aggregate in line with expectations. However, there are specific results that were discouraging this past week, including those of Facebook, UPS, and Pfizer. Tech titans Microsoft and Tesla both reported better than expected results. The Federal Reserve met this week in what had become an overlooked meeting due to larger concerns around the coronavirus. At its meeting, FOMC members voted to maintain the Fed funds target in a range of one and a half to one and three quarters percent, and stated that they look to maintain their repurchase operations until April. As investors moved into less risky assets, treasuries benefited, with the yield on both the two-year and 10-year treasury yield falling 16 basis points. The 10-year treasury yield closed out the week just above 1.5%. The dollar declined a half a percent on the week, while crude oil continued to fall off due to concerns on slowing global growth. WTI crude oil ended the week at $51.58, down 4.9%. As we look ahead to the coming week, Monday we'll see the ISM manufacturing data, a widely recognized measure of industrial production. On Tuesday, President Trump will provide his State of the Union address, and throughout the week we'll continue to see fourth quarter earnings reports come in. That concludes the week in review for the week ending January 31st of 2020. Thank you and enjoy your week.